If you fly into your departing port city the day of your cruise, or you have a late boarding time at an early hotel checkout, you're sometimes faced with hours to kill. So here are my four recommendations of what to do. Now, of course, you can always go to the cruise terminal and hope that they'll let you on early. If not, you're left stuck sitting waiting for hours, and that sucks. So here's what I do. I either rent a car and explore the port city, or I find a luggage storage company. I had time to kill on a recent sailing out of Tampa, so I found storage at this little restaurant in Ybor City, which, by the way, is the cutest little town ever. So if you're flying in, you can fly into the airport, take an Uber to luggage storage at a place close to port and explore that area on foot. And then closer to embarkation time, just Uber to port. In this case, my flight into Tampa landed at 8.30 a.m., but I didn't embark until 2 p.m., so I spent time in Ybor City. I was able to get to this nail salon and get a little pre-cruise mani-pedi, enjoyed a relaxing brunch and some coffee, and even had time to go to a local grocery store to get some canned soft drinks and canned waters to bring on board with me to save a little bit of money. Now there is another option, which is to book an excursion in your departure port city. But with that, you have to find an excursion where there's an opportunity to store your luggage like in a secure van.